In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys two awesome decks that are super off meta that'll help you guys crush in Arena 15 Clash Royale. If you'd like to support the channel, use code Diddy down below. But without further ado, deck number one, guys, we're getting straight into it today. You have the Knight, you have the Miner, you have the Balloon. Miner Balloon is one of the strongest combination decks in Clash Royale right now because it's such a hard thing to take down. So make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. We're posting daily Clash Royale content, and hopefully, you guys enjoy today's video. So let's get after here. This deck is a weird one. You really do have to play it right. Now, obviously, this does crush a lot of mid ladder decks. You have the arrows, you have the tornado in there it's a very interesting off meta deck obviously because you don't see decks like this very often these days and we're gonna go ahead and arrows this now that might be what he wanted but we'll see if we can get a balloon behind this with a miner and honestly get a pretty solid push going so the knight is tanking for the miner and the balloon and we also do have a minion horde down right now so maybe we should have played it a little more passively that could certainly be an argument made right now but we're gonna go ahead and nato all this back he has got a ton of spell bait guys which is actually going to do a little bit of damage here for, to us. He's got the Skull Army, he's got the Minion Horde, and we also have Executioner. So the Executioner might be one of the most valuable cards right now in this matchup. We're going to have to let the rest of these Spear Goblins go, honestly, because I do want to save our Executioner, but we're going to go ahead and Barbarians this, and we're going to go ahead and Arrows this, guys. The Arrows are going to be necessary, so then it can. Um, so then he has to spend some more Elixir, right, on defense. We don't want him to do anything crazy here besides nice, a Skull Army. Hopefully the Skull Army gets taken down to a point where we don't need to spend any more Elixir on it, because we are behind because of that Balloon and Miner push. It looks like we'll be in a decent enough spot here to where a tower only takes a couple hundred damage, and that is completely fine with me. So we're going to balloon, or um, actually, yeah, maybe we balloon the bridge here. Uh, let's go ahead and just knight the back. I want to play a slaw. I think we have just about the same, much, same elixir as him, so we'll see what he goes with here. He's going with that. All right, buddy. Let's go ahead and just miner it, honestly. Mine is going to get tagged by both towers, but hopefully it can do a decent amount of damage to that right there. We'll go ahead and Inferno Tower just to help tank for our tower's HP. And if he minions towards this, we're going to go for an Executioner. Because obviously we don't want to try it. We want to try and save our uh, Tornado as much as possible. Although we do have arrows, so I think we'll be in a decent spot either way. Let's go ahead and go for an Executioner right here. Executioner's down. Barbs are about to come down. Sadly, we do not hit that Bomber there, guys. But the Bomber does end up dying. And now we have an Executioner and some Barbs moving up, which is big. Heals Baby Dragon. We're going to go ahead and balloon opposite lane now. He's probably going to minion hoard this. He's going Archers interesting i would arrows this i totally would but we don't really care about the archers guys and we still almost get a hit off that would have been awesome we're gonna go ahead and mine in the back we're getting ready to go for some uh our knight action does he minion hoard this i'd be very surprised if he does not going to see a minion hoard there that's completely fine yes that's gonna be almost 500 damage which is beautiful man we're feeling all right we're feeling all right so let's see what we can do now he's gonna go ahead and fire all that we're gonna go ahead and execution in the back obviously what he's doing right now is just trying to defend until the game is over because he's gonna try and spell cyclist guys pretty unfortunate but that's what's gonna happen right now we're gonna go ahead and barbarians we're gonna go ahead and balloon we got two barbarians going back we got a balloon moving in we're gonna go ahead and arrows everything boys the arrows come down that's beautiful we're gonna go ahead and tornado these archers away the balloon and barbarian is on the tower guys so if this balloon gets one more hit off we're gonna be looking at great positioning right now in this deck even though he had such a weird deck i mean we're getting the win for battle number one yes that is what we like to see it was pretty intense we had to let that mini pekka go on our left side as well at the beginning of the match we also took a bunch of damage but nonetheless we do get an awesome win there to start the video off you'll love to see it leave a like for that but yeah 4.0 average looks cost you really can counter just about anything with this deck if played correctly that's what makes it so strong and pretty awesome in this meta deck number two today is a hog Rider valkyrie fisherman deck and we're going to take this deck on to ladder today we're going to try our best with it obviously i don't know if we're going to be able to get a win with it but it is a very strong deck now some things you do have to worry about are rg guys rgs can be very tough against this deck just because rg is so strong likewise against many many decks so we're not going to fish him in the back but in case he has electro giant we are going to go for all this though and flawlessly defend this goblin barrel. Thank you very much, sir. Fisherman crushes. Now, if he places RG at the bridge, things will get pretty ugly. But what we will do is we will go for a hog rider here, just to see what he's got, of course. Um, we don't know what he's got. We're going to see some skeletons air to hit in Tesla. That Tesla's placement's really weird, guys. Um, but we will be able to take all this stuff down the Tesla. We can also log for some easy value, but we aren't going to. We're going to go ahead and just Valkyrie the back, guys, because we want to save our log. We know he's got that goblin barrel up in here. He's going Princess. We're going to go ahead and go for some Skeletons. If he wants to go with something here, we'll go with the Log. Nice. He logs. We log. That's all good. That's all good. Let's go ahead and Electro Spirit. Let's go ahead and Hog Rider this because even if this Goblin Rail gets some shots off, guys, I don't know how he's going to be able to stop this unless he can cycle to a Hidden Tesla. So he does actually have a Rocket and Cycle, which is pretty a big mistake on my part, but he whiffs the Rocket, causes the Valkyrie and Hog Rider to both connect, and that is literally going to be a massive amount of damage now, and we can go ahead and just toss to the bridge, make sure he can't Princess Bridge Spam, but that is a massive mistake there. Sorry that the Hog Rider pushed that uh, Valkyrie so fast, but he couldn't even proceed coming. 
Big whiff there, dude. Big whiff. So, Vite Max, let's go, dude. What do you got in store? He's cycling. He's going. He's playing some log bait up in here. But yeah, that was a pretty unfortunate thing to happen. So he's going Valkyrie. We're going to go ahead and Valkyrie of our own. If he tries to princess this, I mean, he's not going to be able to make a connection. He's going with potentially a deep barrel. Let's just go ahead and log that. Easy log value there. Once this locks on, we'll go with an Electro Spirit and some Skeletons here. And honestly, let's force out some more Elixir, guys. Let's go ahead and Hog Rider this, because we know the Valkyrie will finish that off. Hog Rider is now moving in. Does he rocket this? That'd be pretty bad on his end. He's going to just log it, it looks like, and sack a bunch of damage. So the Hog Rider, guys, put in absolute numbers there. That is what we like to see. Let's go ahead and go for maybe a Prediction Rocket. Let's do it. Double Elixir is happening. Let's go ahead and just rocket this. He's probably going to Valkyrie it, or if not the princess just dies so we're feeling good about this guys we're feeling good we have a plenty of elixir to defend stuff and obviously that rocket was not necessary at all but he's going deep here it looks like we do catch the log beautifully let's go ahead and just fish him in this princess and all around right now i mean even if he does a bunch of damage right here he's not going to be able to do anything to take us out so we have skeletons we have fishermen we have hog rider everything's moving up right now we aren't gonna see we are gonna save our log obviously but if it, ne it did come down to it i mean we can rocket cycle his second tower just to make sure we can crush that he's going with this we're gonna go ahead and log absolutely countering him completely here so i'm very sorry that we have to do this to you my guy but he's gonna try and rocket so now we apply a ton of pressure since he does not have that rocket in there and we'll go ahead and fisherman we will go ahead and go for an electro spirit we'll go ahead and skeletons and the hog rider the valkyrie the fisherman it's gonna overtake this man's tower for a two crown victory guys so this is ultimately how you want to play this matchup if you do get log bait basically play aggressive make him force out a rocket and then you can absolutely crush him there so that's a good match Thank you very much for playing, dude, and both games here today, guys. Very easy matches, very fun as well, and both of these decks should absolutely crush for you guys in Arena 15. So, overall, the first deck, I mean, if you're not a fan of off-meta stuff, I would certainly stick to the second deck here, because um, the Fisherman's boosted, of course, this season, which is awesome. So, that'll help you guys out a lot. Deck number two, deck number one, they're both going to be linked down below. So, if you guys have any questions, comment them down below, but overall, thank you so much for the support, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and stay safe, everybody. Master JD-san, 